everyone! Welcome! Welcome to another Nyla stream, aka Princess of Pineapples. If you haven't seen me all week, hello everyone! Hello! Welcome, welcome on in. I'm glad you could make it. Uh, if you if you missed me, let me know. I uh, I have some. I have a new thing on my wall. Well, actually, two new things on my wall. I don't know if you can see it from the small the small camera. So let me change over to the big camera so that you can see my new little frog over here. And then up above, got a sign that says "Dream." in all yellow. I don't know if I want to paint that or keep it yellow, but it's up there. So we got two new things for our gallery wall. Without further ado, I would like to show you I'd like to show you something that was delivered to me today. It's a snarf. Look at the snarf in his almighty form. Yes, he's very very beautiful. Such a mag majestic snarf. I got him from Mrs. Cupcake. If you're looking for some quality perler beads, there is no one finer, no one greater than Mrs. Cupcake. Go check her out. I'll link her channel in, in the description and also in the live stream if you want to look into getting yourself a perler bead. Now, without further ado, back to your regularly scheduled program. Hello, love. How are you? I'm about to link Mrs. Cupcake's channel. Okay, Mrs. Cupcake. Hold on. Got to keep that from... All right. I know she's not here right now, but hopefully she will hear the wondrous things I have said about the snarf. Okay, now before I do anything else, let me go ahead and just put my links into the places to hopefully whoops oh whoops I was linking Mrs. Cupcake's channel hold on let me uh let me delete that delete that let's try this again we can totally do this the correct way uh it's a good thing I noticed that So, how is everyone tonight? I hope you're doing well. I know I'm doing good. Thanks for asking. Um, I had a good time on my vacation. Um, ex for the most part, there was problems, but for the most part, it was good. It was good. Good time. Had a had a good time. Sure, shops. Hung out with my friend Kayla. Kayla, if you're watching, hi! But yep, 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 yep. Alright, we're almost done. We're almost done. So, for the record, I know I've said this before, but I'm going to try my best to guide you. If you've never played Skyrim before, and you're interested in playing Skyrim, I'm going to make this easy enough where you could just, you know, play Skyrim alongside me. Follow along if you want to. But uh if if you don't, that's fine. But if you if you are interested in this game, I will let you know that it's an it's a mature 18 plus game. This is not for uh, little little ones. So please please make sure you are at least, you know, old enough age to, to see that kind of content. Okay, without further ado, because this is going to be a brand new file, we're going to watch the very beginning of the game. So, please enjoy the cutscene. I usually skip this part, but if you've never seen it, I'll let you, I'll let you watch it. How's my, uh, oh, I see the glare from the ring light. If I keep my head straight like this, it should be fine. Let me know if it's too big. If I need to make myself smaller, let me know. Please let me know. 
How does the background look, love? Can you see the the dream sign? I know you can just barely see the dragon. <clears throat> All the lovely decorations. Dun dun dun. Dun dun dun. Hey, you. You're finally awake. You were trying to cross the border, right? You walked right into that Imperial ambush. Same as us. And that thief over there. Damn you, Stormcloaks. Skyrim was fine until you came along. Empire was nice and lazy. If they hadn't been looking for you, could have stolen that horse and been halfway to Hammerfell. You there, you and me, we shouldn't be here. It's these Stormcloaks the Empire wants. We're all brothers and sisters in binds now, thief. Shut up back there. What's wrong with him, huh? Watch your tongue. You're speaking to Ulfric Stormcloak, the true High King. Ulfric? The Jarl of Windhelm? You're the leader of the Rebellion. But if they captured you... Oh, God. Where are they taking us? I don't know where we're going. But Sovereign Guard awaits. No, oh, this no. Can't be happening. This isn't happening. We're all captured. Hey, what village are you from, Horse Thief? Why do you care? A Nord's last thoughts should be of home. Rorikstead. I'm... I'm from Rorikstead. General Talia, sir. The headsman is waiting. Good. Let's get this over with. Sure. Here we go, into Helgen. Kinnereth, Akatosh, Divines, please help me. Now, if you're smart, you can actually save your game. Look at like, as soon as they say, who are you, save. That way you don't have to watch this cutscene every single time you make a new character. Because you can't skip it. As far as I know, unless they change that, you can't skip this cutscene. This is Helgen. I used to be sweet on a girl from here. Wonder if Vlod is still making that mead with juniper berries mixed in. Funny, when I was a boy, imperial walls and towers used to make me feel so safe. Who are they, Daddy? Where are they going? Look all around. Why? I want to watch the soldiers. Inside the house. Now. Whoa! Yes, Papa. Prove it! Why are we stopping? Why do you think? End of the lie. Let's go. Shouldn't keep the gods waiting for us. No, wait! We're not rebels! Face your death with some courage, thief. Yeah, time to get, get out. We worked with you. This is a mistake. Step towards the block when we call your name. One at a time. Empire loves their damn lists. Ulfric Stormcloak, Jarl of Windhelm. It has been an honor, Jarl Ulfric. Greyloff of Riverwood. Lokir of Rorikstad. No, I'm not a rebel! You can't do this! Halt! You're not gonna kill me! Archers! Anyone else feel like running? Wait. You there. Step forward. Alright, now. So this is where you would save. New save. And there you go. Who are you? Yes, who am I? Okay, so I told Chrissy when I uh, 
was first talking about this uh, stream that I was going to go through each race. So for any of you, the few of you out there that have never played Skyrim, uh, Argonians are lizard lizard folk, lizard people. They can, they have a water breathing, so you don't need any enchantment to breathe underwater. You can stay under the water as long as you like. And the description for the Argonian is, this reptilian race well suited for the treacherous swamps of their black marsh homeland has developed a natural resistance to diseases and the ability to breathe underwater. They can call upon the his skin to regenerate health very quickly. So when I played Skyrim for the very first time, I played as an Argonian because I didn't want to have to worry about breathing underwater. So they're a good, they're a good class, and you can easily put them like you can make a, a stealth archer out of an Argonian. Cause <laughs> I know I did, but you can also you know do a sword and shield, whatever you want. You can you can take any race in Skyrim. And make them into whatever you want. It's just like if you make a red guard that sneaks, it might be a little harder because they're not naturally good at that, but you can totally do it. Now, Breton, this is basically like kind of like a magical human, but more like magical tongue. So, the closest thing I can think of is like a bard. Like, you're very good with your words if you're a Breton. In addition to their quick and perceptive graphs of spellcraft, even the humblest of High Rocks Bretons can boast their assistance to magic. Bretons can call upon the dragon skin power to absorb spells. So they have magic resistance, and they can learn magic relatively easily. So they're overall a pretty good class, if you want that kind of thing going for you. And then... We have our elves. We have a dark elf, which also known as Dumber, in their homeland of Morrowind. Dark elves are noted for their stealth and magic skills, so they're good at magic and stealth. They are naturally resistant to fire and can call upon their ancestors' wrath to surround themselves in fire. And then high elf, also known as Autalmer, in their homeland of Somerset Isle, the High Elves are the most strongly gifted in the arcane arts of all the races. They can call upon their High Mord power to regenerate Magicka quickly. So if you're going to make a mage, High Elf is, you know, pretty much one of the best classes you can choose for a mage. Imperial. Natives of Cyrodiil. They have proved to be shrewd diplomats and trades. They are skilled with combat and magic. Anywhere gold coins might be found, Imperials always seem to find a few more. They can call upon the voice of the Empire to calm an enemy. And then Khajiit. It's Khajiit. Alien from the providence of Elswire. They are intelligent, quick, and agile. They make excellent thieves due to their natural stealthiness. All Khajiit can see in the dark at will and have unarmed claw attacks. And then you have your classic. The Nord. Citizens of Skyrim. They are a tall and fair-haired people, strong and hardy. Nords are famous for their assistance to cold and their talent as warriors. They can use a battle cry to make opponents flee. And then we have Orc. Orc. The people of the Worth Guardian and Dragon Tail Mountains, Orcish Smith are prized for their craftsmanship. Orc troops in heavy armor are among the finest in the Empire and are fearsome when using their Berserker Rage. And we have Red Guard. The most naturally talented warriors in Tamriel, the Red Guard of Hammerfell, have a hearty constitution and a natural resistance to poison. They can call upon an Adder, 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 Adder Rush in combat. Adrenaline, Adrenaline Rush in combat. I'm give my muck up there. And then Wood Elf, the clan folk of the Western Valenwood Forest, also known as Bosmer. Wood Elves can make good scouts and thieves, and there are no finer archers in all of Tamriel. They have natural resistances to both poison and diseases. They can command animals to fight for them. So if you want an animal sidekick, pick a Wood Elf. Okay, so 
now that I have shown you all the races, I have already decided that I'm going to go with a red guard. Because I, I nailed it down to Nord, Orc, or Red Guard for what I do. And I think it'd be a little bit more creative for me to play as a Red Guard. So we're going to cl click the Red Guard. And we are indeed going to be male. I know that's strange. I'm usually always a girl. But we're going to be a boy this time. And what do we want to look like? Hmm. Oh, I don't know about that. Ugh. Oh, that was okay. That was okay. Mm, dark. That was also okay. No, too light. I think we're gonna go with this one. Maybe make the skin tone a little darker. And then the weight. Do we want you to be big? Uh, uh, not too big. Maybe, yeah, maybe medium. You can only turn your head around so far. Okay, let's go to complexion. I don't think you're gonna have much of a complexion. Really hard to see. Well, that just makes the lines of your face. Yeah, let's go about here. It makes you look old though. We'll go with that one. No, we don't need any dirt. Scars? Um, sure, you can have that scar. War paint. That one's fine. Maybe we'll go, yeah, we'll go red. Go red for the war paint. Nose type. Hmm. Don't want it to be too skinny. I think maybe this one no that's too small hmm that one's too small too gotta find a nose that doesn't look weird hmm that one's not bad i don't like that one it kind of sticks out a little and i'm being super picky good. Nose height, that's fine. Yeah, you can go through all of these, but this is fine. Eye shape. Ooh, those look like serious eyes. Hmm. I think we're gonna go with where was it? That one. My color. Yep, my height. And I see. Eyes is really narrow. Go oh, right about there. You're not going to see most of this anyways. Sure. We'll give you some eyeshadow. Why not? <coughs> Maybe it looks dark and mysterious. Okay, I'm not going to change anything there. And hair. Let's see. This is making your hair shorter. Wow, that looks weird. I think the hair we had was fine. Maybe this one? But yeah, I think the hair we had was fine. Yeah, we're, let's just go with the hair we had. I'm gonna go with the hair we had. Where was it? Was it this one? Yeah, I think it was this one. Facial hair. Uh, 
I don't really like facial hair, so we're just gonna go maybe very subtle. Maybe that? If we have any at all. Do I look weird without it? Maybe just a mustache? This is without facial hair. I don't think that looks too bad. Uh, hair color. Do I want to change the hair color? I do like black. Could maybe go brown. It's like a reddish brown. Be a little bit more unique. Yeah, let's go with a reddish brown. Okay. And then press Y when you're done. Finish and name your character. Okay, we obviously do not want to be named prisoner. So we need to give our character a name. I already... Wait, no! I, I pressed the wrong button. Hold on. Delete. Delete, 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 delete. Okay, let's try this again, shall we? Capital. So many wrinkles in the forehead. Okay. I'm going to call you Hayashi. What are you doing here, Red Guard? You a cell sword? A sailor from Stros Mekai? Captain, what should we do? He's not on the list. Forget the list. He goes to the block. By your orders, Captain. Oh no, not the block. We'll make sure he remains Whatever will I hammer. do? Follow the captain, prisoner. Ulfric Stormcloak. Some here in Helgen call you a hero, but a hero doesn't use a power. Now is your chance to look around. If you want to look around at the scenery, look around at the clouds. Because you can't do anything while they're talking, so look, there's a horse over there. There's towers over there. Now you hear Dobakin. What was that? It's nothing. Carry on. Yes, General Tullius. Give them their last rites. As we commend your souls to Ethereus, blessings of the eight divines upon you. For the love of Talos, shut up and let's get this over. So brave. Oh hail, brave soldier. I haven't got all morning. You never even do find out his name. My ancestors are smiling at me, Imperials. Can you say the same? As fearless in death as he was in life. Ooh, the red blood scar paint. Here it is again. Did you hear that? I said next prisoner. To the block prisoner. Nice and easy. Oh no, we're going to get our head chopped off. I, th I thought we were going to play a game. Well, this was a short let's play. What in oblivion is that? Sentry. I think see? that's a mouse. Pretty sure it's a mouse. What do you think? Is it a mouse? Hi, Dobrakeen. Now it says use L to move, so use your left and right trigger to move around. And you need to go, you need to go in here with him. So just follow him if you get lost. What is that thing? Could the legends be true? Legends don't burn down the edges. We need to move 
Now you can't go back out once you come in, so you go up these stairs and you don't go all the way up, okay? Pretend like you're going all the way up and then quickly come back down. Because if you don't, you're going to get fired right to the face. So wait a little bit until that fire dissipates and then you come up here and you jump with triangle. I didn't make that jump perfectly because if you make that jump perfectly you won't uh, take any damage. And then you can either jump through here or you can come over here and jump down that way. But be careful. You don't want to hit that fire. So then you, you turn out of this building okay, that you came through and again, see that arrow? You want to follow that arrow. You want to follow him. Still alive, prisoner. Keep close to me if you want to stay that way. Gunnar, take care of the boy. I have to find General Tolias and join the defense. God's guide you, Hadmar. Now, if you don't know what to do, just follow him. Obviously, I played this game before, so I do know where to go. There he is again. Just follow him. He will take you to where you need to go. Oh no, poor guy. Oof. He didn't make it. Just follow him. You can't fight the dragon right now, so just follow them. They're gonna kill it. Okay, normally I would follow him, but this time we're gonna follow him. Because depending on who you follow at the beginning changes what happens at the beginning. Because if you follow the Stormcloak, you can kill that lady that said, the, you know how the guy says, she's he, she's not on the list, what should I do? And she says, they go to the block anyways. You can kill her if you go the Stormcloak way. But if you follow, if you follow this guy, you can get like, early smithing ingredients like Take iron ignits and free access to anything that the blacksmith has. For these bones. Which is going to be very important because I'm going to be a melee character so I'm going to need to be smithing you. a lot of my own weapons. You better get some gear. This chest is empty. There's no there gear in here. Sword or two in one of these chests. Look around. Ah, it's in this one. You better get some gear. This is empty, right? Yep, empty. You better get some gear. Oh, it's over here. Durr. Got to be a sword or two in one of these chests. Looking in all the right wrong chests. Okay, let's take that. Up. And now go into items, and you want to go down to weapons. I always equip it in my right hand. That's easier for me, even though I'm left-handed in real life. And then you put on your armor, and just go ahead and drop the stuff that you started with, because it's not—it's not worth nothing. Let's keep moving. That thing is still <coughs> there. Now I don't think there's anything else in here. There's some wine. If you want to take some wine with you. For whatever reason. There's a broom. I don't really think you want to take the broom. I'm just looking to see if- oh, there's actually some coin over here. Take the coin. Always look around. And then you go follow him. Press Y to ready your weapon. Okay, we are ready our weapon. We gotta get ready. Hear that? Storm close. Maybe we can raise some. Death to the Empire! Let me see if I can get the door. 
All right. Uh, I don't think we're gonna be using a shield. Sword's only worth 25. We will search him. He's got a warhammer. We will take that. We will take the warhammer. No, no, not skills. That's not what I wanted to do. No. <sighs> I'm pressing these buttons too fast. Weapons. Warhammer. There we go. Look at that. I've got a warhammer. Do you have anything on you? Nope. I'm coming, I'm coming. He's so impatient. He's gotta wait for me anyways. Press L to block. Okay. You go, girl. Damn, that dragon doesn't give up PC. We're well man for the game. We need to get out of Helgen. Huh? What was that? Time to end. Oh, uh, yeah. Feel the wrath of my axe. I know it's stolen. See if you can find something. All right. It might come in handy. Let's search you. This is the thing we already have. I mean, we could take it for money, but we'll take the great sword, just in case I want to switch between great sword and axe. See if there's anything over here. There's more wine. I could get a lot of wine. And there's a pot. Anyone need a pot? I'm sure, it could be useful. Anything else down here? There's a rabbit and a pheasant. I don't think there's anything over here. It's just empty barrels. There's no cheese wheels. Just a just a thing of bread. And if you come over here, you can get another potion. And a salt pile. Hi. Cheese! Done, this way. Alright, you want to get your weapon out because down here there's going to be more people. Kill him. We'll need everything we can get. He's a bad, bad man. What did I do? Grab what you can and let's I, go. I don't want to drag him. Okay, let's see. Fur gauntlets. No, I don't really need that. You have Imperial Light Armor. That's what I'm wearing, right? Yep, Imperial Light Armor. Helmet boots. Okay. Go over here, pick up this book. And the reason I say always kill the torturer is even if you take the Imperial path, he tortures his his captured uh his captured people and it just doesn't sit. It doesn't sit with me right, so I always kill him. We'll take that iron shield. And there should be a few lockpicks over here. There's a dagger. Okay, we don't need the dagger. We're not that kind of character. Now over here, this is where you learn how to pick a lock. Okay? So it'll it'll show you. It'll say use the left trigger to rotate the lock pick, then R to rotate the lock. The closer the pick is to the correct position, the more the lock will rotate, 
before the piece breaks. Only when it is in the correct position will the lock fully rotate and open. Holding both Joy-Con controllers, pick locks by moving your controllers. Hold CL and twist the left Joy-Con to rotate the pick. Hold CR and twist the right Joy-Con to turn the lock. I'm using a controller, so we're going to do the controller out. And voila! That staples. That was easy. Now if you're playing a mage, this is where you get your, uh, your first mage robes. I'm not playing a mage, so I'll just sell this, you know. I will eventually have to learn a little bit of magic, but magic is not going to be my focus, if you will. Because that's not what this character is all about. Now, as you're following him, if you pay attention... Are you going to go? Are you going to go? Do I have to go first? I'll go first if you want me to go first. But the second door... If you lockpick this door, you can get free gold because there's a coin purse in here. Isn't there a coin purse in here? Yep. And there's a skeleton that has some gold. But yep, that's that. And then you keep going straight. Turn. You can always follow him if you get lost. He's here to help you, but this is basically the how to play Skyrim tutorial. This is your tutorial, and you can stay in this cave for as long as you want. You don't have to leave at level 1. You can leave at level 25 if you want to. All right, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, yeah. And just like that. How to not take an arrow in the knee. Yes, kill the enemies before they hit you with the arrow. That is how you not take arrow in the knee. Make sure you search all your enemies because you can get more Warhammers, but pay attention to your carry weight because each one of these Warhammers weighs 24 and they only sell for half of what they're worth. So if they're not worth at least 50 and they weigh 24, don't, don't do it. Not unless you need that weapon. Here's an iron battle axe. See, that weighs 55, and it's not better than my Warhammer. So I'm going to let it go. And then up here, this guy will have arrows. Take the arrows, but don't take the long bow. You'll get one of those for free. Don't take the bow, just take the arrows. Okay, Chrissy, are you listening to me? Probably the most important for you. Let's see what this goes. And then you press, press the lever. Press the lever, Kronk! And then you just go through here. And you go down. And now you can't go back this way. You can't go back that way. Then you go down here. And I always take a little detour slightly to the left and go up this way. Because if you go up this way, you can get another coin purse as well as a free potion. And the skeleton's empty. He doesn't got any gold. Dropping by to leave a like. Hope you have a good stream. Thanks, Bill. Thank you. Throw us a square knot to capture the triangle. A square knot? Uh, that doesn't go anywhere. I guess we'd better really, that doesn't go anywhere, huh? I think maybe a rat could fit through that hole. Alright. 
Where are we going? Okay, now here's the part where it helps be good at magic. Because there's going to be a lot of spiders. I mean, I don't know if there are actually giant snakes in this game or not. But that is a very good, uh, very good question. Hey, Bill, thanks for the like. And you get spider eggs. Just, how do I? No, that's not how I jump. Ah, that's how I jump. You jump with X. Makes sense. Is there anything up here? No. For some reason I thought there was something up here. Maybe I was just crazy. Alright. Once you've killed the spiders. And gotten all the goodies. You want to continue on. You want to continue on this way. Hiya, just popping in with my like. Hello, Nicoloita. How are you? Thank you for the like. Okay. There's nothing this way. Oh, wait. This is the way we came before. I actually want to go back down. I'm not going the right way. I'm going the absolute wrong way. I need to go this way. This way. Down. Can't go through that waterfall. There's nothing through here. Not even a secret treasure chest. Cross this little tiny bridge. Turn around over here. I think up here Sometimes this skeleton has money, but not not every single time. There's an iron dagger, and there's a potion of health. So, that's always nice. Oh dear, we fell right into the water. Okay. Go back up and turn around. Hold up. There's a bear just ahead. See her? I'd rather not tangle with her be able to sneak by. Just take it nice and slow. Sleepy, Watch ha ha, stop. have a good shrink. Or if you're feeling lucky, you can take this bow. Might take him by surprise. Go now this ahead. is, now this I'll is where they teach you how to sneak. Back. So you can get down like this. And you go into your inventory. And you go into your items. And then you equip the bow. And you can, you can shoot the bear without ever Without ever having to fight it. You just like that. Oh yeah. Not the snaking type, huh? Right in the butt. And then you go ahead and click favorite on your bow. And you go back to your Warhammer. Get out of sneaky mode and go forward. And this way, your 3D mode. This is what you look like. I look like I don't have any hair. I swore I picked the guy that did have hair. Well, let me take off my hat. Let me take off my hat. Maybe it's just because I'm wearing a, a hat. Yes, I do have hair. Okay. I was like, I swore I had hair. Like, where did my hair go? Crazy helmet. But yeah, I already searched the bear. So we can go this way now. Right in the butt, indeed. Ah. And I just keep on going down. 
and this will take you outside of the cave. And that is the end of the tutorial. After this part, you can die to just about anything, and you can totally enter the wrong dungeon at the wrong time. So be be very careful and no, no, we are not doing survival mode. No, no, no. Wait. Looks like he's gone for good this time. But I don't think we should stick around to see if he comes back. Now at this point, just uh, follow Hadbar, and he'll lead you straight to Riverwood. It's probably best if we split up. Good luck. I wouldn't have made it without your help today. Now we don't need to split up. We're a team. This is a team effort. Just follow him. I'll take you right where you need to go. That way, if you don't know where to go, you can just you can just follow him. He'll take you right to the very first town, which is Riverwood, and you can go from there. It's pretty easy to get lost in this game. I I mean, it's very very easy to get lost in this game. But there will always be like you know things along the way that will tell you where to go. Elgin, Riverwood, Falkreach. And now he's already ahead of me, but that's fine. That's fine. We can catch up to him. Not that hard. Come on. I feel better once we're under cover in Riverwood. I thought the dragons were dead all a long so time ago. I. If the damn stormcloak somehow. Getting found lost is fun, right? Up, Getting lost is half of the fun of this game. It's like I don't want to go to the main quest. I want to go explore this random cave. Attacks just as Alfred was about to be executed. <laughs> We'd better keep moving. I feel like that dragon might be up there watching us right now. But yeah, you see, just follow this path. He's gonna come down here. Eventually. He's a little slow in the upkeep. Come on, guy. And he will tell you about the stones. These are the Guardian Stones. Three of the thirteen ancient standing stones that dot Skyrim's landscape. Go ahead. See for yourself. This is where you choose what you want to be good at. Whether you want to be good at magic, whether you want to be good at sneaking, or if you want to be a warrior. Those under the sign of the warrior will learn combat skills 20% faster. You may only accept one sign blessing at a time. Accept. Warrior. Good. I knew you shouldn't have been on that call the minute I laid eyes on you. Yep, we are a warrior. Hey, Zor! How are you? Do you like Skyrim? I'm, I'm playing as a red guard with a giant axe. I'm going to do my very best not to sneak this playthrough. I know. You never thought you'd see the day. But it's true, I'm gonna try not to be a sneaky Khajiit for once. As far as I'm concerned, already earned your palm. But until we get that confirmed by General Tullius, just stay clear of other Imperial soldiers and avoid any complications. Okay? Are we going to go to the town? Doing fine, Nala. That's good. Oh, uh, hey, do you see the frog on the wall? The new one? The little, the little one right here? Look, dreams! Mushrooms! That's the end of that. Oh no! The poor wolf. He was so young. 
All right, let's go. Are we going? I'm trying to let you lead the way. You're so slow. I'm glad you decided to come with me. We're almost to Riverwood. Poor wee Bork. Yes, the poor Bork. Alright. Yeah, if you just follow him. He'll lead you straight to Riverwood. And as long as you have your main quest selected, as long as you have Before the Storm selected, that'll also lead you straight to Riverwood. So even if you do get off track, you can easily find your way back to the town. Things and this is like, this is like the on, first town me. that you're in. Talk to Sven. I saw a dragon in Helgen. So maybe my mother isn't crazy after all. You had best tell the Jarl of Whiterun. He needs to know about this. And then you asked you and Fend all like the Can same girl. Marius knows I'm the best man in Riverwood. That elf is kidding himself if he thinks she would choose him over me. I've seen him sneaking over to the Riverwood trader to speak with her when I'm not around. He's wasting his time. He's a threat. Yes, two people spending time together never blossoms into courtship. I've heard never. Cracks from Orgnar. Okay. Uh, still, you have a point. Camilla letting Feindel visit her isn't a good thing for me. Here, let me give you a particularly venomous letter. Say it's from Feindel. That should get Camilla to stop inviting the elf over. All right. I'd better get going. A dragon. I saw a dragon. There you go over here. And you're gonna go into this house. See how this guy has an arrow over his head? That lets you know he's part of your main quest line. But you gotta wait for him to go in the house. And then you go in the house. Sigrid, we have company. Did I just sit down at the table? So worried about you. Come. You Ain't every day we get visitors Sit in Riverwood. Get you, something to eat. you have any supplies of I can take? Take what you need. But what's all this about? What are you two doing here? Okay, so here you. Ooh, look! It's an elder cheese wedge. Got the mead. Restore twenty-two points of stamina. Stamina regenerates twenty-five percent slower. 20 seconds. We're gonna take the ignit, the lockpick, the potions. We are not gonna take anything else because there's nothing really, there's nothing else in here we really need. We could sell the ring, but we'll get rings later. And then you tell him what happened. Right. In Helgen? That explains what I saw earlier. Flying down the valley from the south. I was hoping I was wrong about what I thought it was. Uh, let's see. It was a dragon. Helbar will tell you the same thing. Here in Skyrim, what's this world coming to? First the war, now dragons. Trouble loves company, they say. The Yara needs to know if there's a dragon on the loose. Riverwood is defenseless. We need to get word to Jarl Balgraf in Whiterun to send whatever soldiers he can. If you'll do that for me, I'll be in your debt. All right, and then ask if you can use the forge. I see no harm in it, if you have the skill. The grindstone will improve your weapons. Use the table to improve your armor. If you've got the raw materials, you can use the forge to make something new. And then you can ask a bunch of questions, but uh, I'm just gonna ask how to get to White Run. Cross the river and then head north. You'll see it just past the falls. When you get to White Run, just keep going up. When you get to the top of the hill, you're at Dragon's Reach, the Jarl's Palace. <sighs> now, <sighs> boy, 
Helgen was destroyed? How did you get away? I don't know where to stop. You know I was assigned to General Tully as a skull. We were stopped in Helgen when we were attacked by a dragon. When your friend told me, I didn't believe it at first either. Mara's mercy. Dragon? In Helgen? Why, you could be here at any moment? All right, now, if you follow him to his, to his, uh, That's fort, what you need, my friend. May the gods watch over your battles, friend. He's not going to teach me how to. All right. Now, I should be able to take these ignits for free. Yep. He will not complain. Whatever you need. I smear if it's simple and strong. I can forge it. Alright, now let's see what we can make. Can't make any of that right now. Or that. Iron fittings. What the heck are iron fittings? Is that like making a lock? Can we make a lock? Apprentice level work, but solid. Keep at it. Oh, we need some leather strips? Really? Let's see if we can. Yeah, let's do that. Why? Are you looking for a new blade? Iron or steel is what you need. Leave that fancy elven stuff to the elves. Need any help around the forge? There yes, we go. Actually, how about you smith me an iron dagger? Here's everything you need to make one. This will teach go you ahead. how to do smithing if you don't know how. Until next time. So he'll tell you to go make an iron dagger. So go make an iron dagger. And then you bring it to him, and he'll tell you to go sharpen it. Take what you need, my friend. Here's an iron Not dagger. Bad, but it's a little dull. How about you sharpen it up? Just need a bit of metal and the grindstone over there. Good day. Okay, so we go over here to this little thing. You sit down. No, not steel. I don't know what I took. What did I take? the helmet? I don't remember having the helmet. Okay. I didn't mean to take it. Whatever you need. I've sharpened the iron dagger. You put time into your blades. Hey, it's Nana! Hey, Nana! To keep helping? How about you make some armor? Let's start by panning some leather on the rack. Is he not mad at me anymore? Good. Use tanning rack. This is how you make leather. Okay. No. And then you take it to him. You looking for a new blade? Iron or steel is what you need. Here's that letter you wanted. Now he's going to tell you to make him a hide helmet. That kind of and then he's going to ask you to sharpen the hide helmet at the workbench. The rest of what you need. Okay. We'll go over here. Use the forge. Go to hide. Go to helmet. Great. I can forge Here's the hide helmet. I should hire you to be my assistant at this rate. Let's improve the fit. Take this leather to the workbench over there. All right. And then All here's right. the workbench. And hopefully this gives you a feel for how to make stuff. So like when you want to make your own weapon, you make sure you look at what, what it takes, 
like the uh, iron shield takes four iron ingots and then if you create that it'll improve your smithing what you the sneaky type got some nice tag you have talent keep working at your craft and you'll be a fine smith one day why don't you keep that dagger and helmet Maybe you'll remember me when you're making Skyforge steel, huh? Nah, I don't really want to make Skyforge steel. Looking to protect yourself? It's a lot of work. Damage. Which are usually better, found or crafted weapons? Crafted. Usually whatever you craft is going to be more effective than something you find in a treasure chest. Now, I will say the random RNG, you could find something really good in a treasure chest that's all like just as good as something you craft but that's purely based on your the luck of your character and remember there was a specific class that got better loot and more gold i think it was imperials so if that's your focus play an imperial you don't have enough gold uh let's buy Oh, we'll get more. It's okay. Let's sell. Let's sell the stuff that we made. We're not going to need the dagger. We don't need the sword. We'll keep the great sword in case we want to switch between hammer and great sword. And I think for now, we're going to sell this. Because it's just going to weigh us down. And we'll get more later on. Mm -hmm. Alright, now. Now you want to go over here to the Riverwood Trader. Well, one of us has to do something. I said no. No adventures, no theatrics, no thief chasing. Well, what are you going to do then, huh? Let's hear it. We are done talking about this. Oh, <clears throat> a customer. <laughs> Sorry you had to hear that. Yeah, well, did something uh, happen? We, we did have a, a bit of a, a break-in. We still have plenty to sell. Robbers were only after one thing. An ornament. Solid gold in the shape of a dragon's claw. I can help you get the claw you back. Could. I've got some coin coming in from my last shipment. It's yours if you bring my claw back. Now, if you're going to get those thieves, you should head to Bleak Falls Barrow. So this is your days. plan, Lucan? Show them trinkets, odds and ends, that sort of thing. All right, now, I always buy the potions. You don't have enough gold. Oh, okay, hold on. Do I have anything I can sell him? I can sell him the hinge. Not selling my lock books. I'll sell that. Food. Sure, he can have the wine. He can also have the venom. And the stamina. I need a peril I can get rid of. Don't need that. I'm keeping that for now. Okay. Now I have money that I can buy. Last healing. Let's see, 179. Fishing rod. Since when did they put fishing rods into the game? But here's here's a little wooden sword that's for your kid that you'll get eventually. Do you sell spells? I think I have a few old you must collect all the cheese wheels. You want more, no, I must not. I do not have to do what you tell me to. I can do what I want. Yes. So now you don't have to go, do you? Oh, really? Well, I think your new helper here needs a guide. Uh, no, I... By the eight, fine. But only to the edge of town. This way. town and across the bridge to get to Bleak Falls Barrow. You can see it from here, though. 
the mountain just over the buildings. This way. Sped wanted to trick you into believing this letter was from Fendel. I always tell the truth, so we're going to tell the truth. About? What's in the letter? Oh my. He wanted me to think Fendal wrote this? Thank you for telling me the truth. <coughs> Could you talk to Fendal as well? I'm sure he'll want to thank you for standing up for him. <sighs> I'd better get going. I'm not tired, you're tired. Now she will tell you which way to go if you want to just listen to her. She'll take you to the edge of town. If she removes. There she goes. Those thieves must be mad hiding out there. Those old crypts are filled with nothing but traps, trolls, and who knows what else. Okay, are you going to go or just going to talk about the trolls? She's supposed to take you to the edge of town. I don't know why she's not. Hello? You're supposed to guide me. I thought you were going to guide me, young lady. Just standing here. But yeah, she'll take you to the edge. I only stole Lucan's golden claw. I mean, we have plenty of things in the shop that are worth just as much coin. Lucan found the claw about a year after he opened the store. He never quite explained where he got it. He's a tricky one. This way. Come on, lady. Come on. Huh? Are you going? All the cheese. This way. She just says the same thing. She not gonna come down here? This is the bridge out of town. The path up the mountain to the northwest leads to Bleak Falls Barrow. I guess I should get back to my brother. He'll throw a fit if I take too long. <laughs> Such a child. Mara bless you for agreeing to Well, it's a winding road up the mountain just ahead. You'll know you're in the right place once you spot the old watchtower. Once you get to the tower, head north. Bleak Falls Barrow should be just around the corner further <coughs> off. Good luck. Luke right. and I will be waiting for you back in the shop. Alright, let's go! Let's go! Oh, hold on. This looks kind of weird, so let me, uh, fix something. There we go, that looks better. Hello, Classy, how are you? We're playing some Skyrim tonight. What you up to? Anything interesting? Oh, wait, this isn't the path. Did I... I got off the path already. There. Make sure we're going up the right path. That would help. How you doing today, Classy? And here they come. Usually there's more than one. Where's the other one? Look at me and my giant axe. Now it does slow you down a little to keep your weapon drawn like that. But I know that there's another wolf on this climb. It may not be as soon as I thought. There's usually at least two of them. 
Where's the second one? What? What? You gotta be kidding me. You got to be kidding me. No, I've been sick all day today. Oh no. Well, it should have auto saved when we got to Riverwood, so hopefully it is auto saved because I have not saved the game at all yet. Hey. What the? Yeah, I don't know what happened. Did it kick you out? It kicked me out of the game, yeah. I gotta wait for it to, to load. Let's just press continue. See where it has me at. Talos is the hero god of mankind. His worship is currently banned by the Empire. But that hasn't stopped the Nords of Skyrim from revering him. Okay, good. We have to go through town and across the bridge to get to the Leaf Falls Barrow. You can see it from here, though. Just to be safe. The mountain just over the buildings. Okay, we're not gonna listen to her this time, we're just gonna go. I don't know what made it do that. That was weird. Usually Skyrim has issues with crashing. Especially when you're fighting a dragon. This is such a big, big game. But it was weird that that happened. Probably that'll be the only time it happens, knock on wood. Came from this way, right? Like I said, if you have your weapon extended, it'll slow down how fast you can run, but it won't really like, it won't really affect your gameplay. You can run with your weapon drawn, is what I'm trying to say, but it'll make it go a little bit slower. So just just be aware of that if you wanna, if you wanna run, it's better to have, it's better not to have your weapon drawn. Also, this still looks ridiculous, so let me, uh, take that off. Yeah, I have no idea why I did that. Yep, we're gonna keep trucking. Gonna keep trucking forward. I swore there was another wolf, though. Maybe I'm misremembering, because... Usually it's before you get up here. These guys will tell you don't come any closer. You picked a bad time to get lost, friend. Alright, and you go in here. Go up. Oh dear. Oh dear, I fell. Don't fall. AKA don't fall. Fall bad. I'm surprised I did not die. Uh. Never 
should have come here. What's this about? I never should have come here. Huh? You want to tell me that again, sir? Now this is worth taking. The mace, eh, not so much. Now let's go ahead and equip equip this, and then we could sell this, where we could just dump it. It's not really worth that much, so I think we're just going to dump it. Let's see if there's anything good in the treasure chest. Ooh, amethyst, gold, lockpick, scroll. Ooh, scrolls are always nice to find. Yeah, you thought you were so tough. He thinks he's so tough. Nothing over here, okay. But yeah, just just be careful, okay, people. Take the coin purse. Oh no, dying now. Eh, dying is some, something that's pretty normal. Did I search you? Nope. Okay, now we're gonna go up to a. Uh, we're gonna go to Bleak Falls Barrow. To find my way back to the path. I think it's up this way. Is the path? No, this this can't be the path. Okay, this right here. This right here is the path. Totally missed my turn. Right, just turn this way. Follow the path. Follow the path. See all that snow? It's going right in my face. And it's letting me know. And I'm about to enter a dangerous territory. But it's okay. We've got a hammer. you gold hunting bow is slightly better than the longbow so we're gonna go into weapons I'm going to drop longbow I'm gonna go ahead and equip that and we'll probably end up selling our warhammer as long as we can afford to keep it we'll end up selling it but it was good to us it uh it served its purpose. Uh, I think we have a level up to do. So let's go ahead and level up. I'm gonna go stamina. I want more stamina. And the first thing I'm gonna do... I'm probably gonna get a level of smithing on level 2. But I think the first the first thing I should do is get two-handed. Get my two-handed up. Make myself more powerful. So that we can kill things even faster. <laughs> now I don't think there's anything down here to see. This is just like the end of Bleak Falls Barrow. But it never hurts to look. But sometimes you can find cool stuff. Just be aware of your surroundings and don't like don't like jump off the the building to your death. Don't do that. Just a just a tip. 
don't don't jump to your death not not recommended do not recommend not fun and then you go in here to bleak falls barrow and i'm pressing the wrong button again Got to go, best of luck. Thanks, Azor. Thank you. Why don't you get a skewer tail? Let's search you. Alright. I'm going to get out my axe. Now we're going to go straight forward. Who needs to block? No, I don't want to sneak. Turn around. Does it now? What the, the what do the Nords think about my giant axe? Hmm. What do they think about my giant axe? Yeah, that's what I thought. Where'd that other guy go? Oh, he's right here. It clearly goes this way. There we go. Alright, we'll take that and we'll continue on our merry way. It should be a lot faster since we're not trying to sneak. Search the urn. These dungeons do take longer if you're doing the whole stealth archer thing. Because you don't want people to see you. No, I don't care. They can see me. I'll smash them with my axe. Hit them where it hurts. Oh, hold on. Gotta get that. Wouldn't want to miss something. All right, keep going. It's a bad time to get lost. All right, now you see how that says snake, snake, fish, up there, snake. There's a snake on the ground because it fell, and then fish. So you want to go over here. And turn this until it says snake, snake, fish. And then you press the lever. And I'll take you right through. And then up here, got a potion and a book. Yeah, I can see the snake fish. That's only 25. It's not really worth taking. Do not, I repeat, do not take petty soul gems. They're completely worthless. Only take soul gems if they're like lesser or common. But always take the scrolls. The lever was pulled. The skiver actually came up. Should be one more. Okay. Search the skivers. I never knew this lever was on the other side. Neat. Now I can make sure that nobody follows me. And down we go. 
Whee! Is anyone dizzy yet? And there's a scroll. And there's a weak potion. Well, a weak paralysis potion is different than a, uh... It's different than a petty soul gem. Now if you go over here to where the skeleton is, search the skeleton and get the gold, then get out your, uh, your weapon of choice and hit this. And it will reveal a treasure chest. Those aren't worth it. I'll take that. I already have that. Mm, no. I'm not going to take that. Now get out your, your axe again. And go through here. Spider dead. Staples, that was easy. Make sure you search all the urns. This money. And sometimes you can find gems, but mostly money. And just just let him complain while you're looking. He's not going anywhere. Empty skewer tail. Uh huh. You over here. That's not a gold, gold. It's a lockpick. Anything me over here? Nope. I think we got it all. Get me down. Get me down. Okay. Get out your axe, because this guy will lie to you. So be prepared. Easy? Nope. You did it. You killed it. Now cut me down before anything else shows up. Where's the golden claw? I know how it works. The claw, the markings, the door in the hall of stories. I know how they all fit together. Help me down and I'll show you. You won't believe the power the Nords have hidden there. Fine. Let me see if I can cut you down. Breath of Arcade. Thank you. Now just keep hitting him. I can feel it. Do not let him get away. Kill him. Kill him. Now read the journal. Don't take the journal. <clears throat> my fingers are trembling. The golden claw is finally in my hands. And with it, the power of the ancient Nordic heroes. That fool Lucan Varius has no idea that his favorite store decoration was actually the key to Bleak Falls Barrow. Now I just need to get to the Hall of Stories and unlock the door. The legend says there is a test that the Nords put there in place to keep the unworthy away, but that when you have the Golden Claw, the solution is in the palm of your hand. Literally, in the palm of your hand. Okay, nothing there worth taking, so we're going to leave it. And let's keep going. Take the Soul Gem. All right, let's start seeing Dragger. All right, we leveled up again. Keep all C books. You must start your own library. Ancient Ward Norhammer. Eh. It's not better than what I have. We'll let it go. Now see, this is worth 60. It only weighs 12. So it'll it should sell for at least 25. That's not bad for start of the game, but it's still not that better that good. You can find way better stuff to sell that's way less, way less weight than that. Just, just so that you know. 
Because carry away early in the game is super important. This time I'm going to increase my health. And now we're going to go ahead and lock the first level of smithing. We're not going to worry about heavy armor right now. We're fine. Gotta have that library better than the buffalo one. I know, right? I was so disappointed. Get to God. Kill the dragger. Yeah, still not worth that much. We'll take the gold. What do you got? Now, if you go up this way, there's a treasure chest. See it? This is Apprentice, so it's a little bit harder than all the ones you've had so far. But you can generally tell. And so Snarf can um That treasure chest was not worth the amount of lockpicks that I broke. All right, let's go. It'll hurt a little bit. Now, I do believe that there's a dragger coming up. And his friend is coming. Eh. Still not worth it in my opinion. your health, Nyla. Uh, pro tip, watch your health. Don't, don't, don't be like me and forget about your health bar. Don't, don't do that. I'm, I'm a professional. I, I know what I'm doing. You got this. Look, it's glowing mushrooms. There's a treasure chest right here. Now again, if you go here, 
You can kill that guy from all the way, all the way, oh, well, he's going to come up now, but you can kill him in that spot. Come on, buddy. Bring it on. But yeah, if you're sneaking and, and that guy doesn't see you, you can kill him from up there. Or not. Well, he saw me and he's like, uh, 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 gonna get him. Gonna get him. And you go down here. If you go all the way down here, there's a skeleton that has some gold. And then there's a skeever. And then over here is another skeleton and a treasure chest nope not that way maybe this way there we go have you heard of our long our lord and savior the night mother yes yes i have Mmm, no, I'm not going to take that. It's almost tempting, but I already have a hunting bow. And your followers will typically come with a weapon. So, like, I don't need to buy a bow for Fendal. I could make him a better bow. But I don't need to buy him a bow. He'll come equipped with a weapon if I need someone to come with me. What do you got? All right. And you keep going deeper, deeper into the vowels. Oh wait, we haven't got to that quest yet. I don't think there's any trapper here. Someone's shooting at me. I didn't miss anything. You got anything good? Just gold. Just gold. Anything in here? No? Nothing in here, huh? Okay. I wonder how you open this. I feel like there's probably a way to open it. Maybe some sort of trap. Nothing over here that I see. That's just a dead end. Hmm. It's a mystery. There are some things even I don't know about Skyrim. If you can believe that. Alright, I need to go this way now. In we go. 
Now, for those of you that have never worked with a claw before, let me show you how this works. You go, you go into your items, okay? You go all the way down here to miscellaneous. You go to the golden claw, and then you press this button, okay? Bear, uh, moth owl. Bear, moth owl. But there's also a trick. You just make every, you turn every ring twice, and it'll automatically turn to what you need. And then insert the golden claw. Dun dun dun! I'm gonna go up. Get out your axe. Get ready for a fight. Do I have. Do I have full health? Yes, I have full health. Let's go ahead and give myself. Health is increased for 60 seconds. Frost damage. Target is paralyzed for 30 seconds. That's not gonna. That's not really gonna help us. The cheese room. Get the trout. Everything's gonna go dark. This guy's gonna pop out. We're not even gonna give him a chance to hit us. And we leveled up again. Take the dragon stone, take the battle axe, get the potion that's over here, and then come over here and search the chest. Ooh, pickpocket success 50% better. Ooh. Um, flawed Va Valra stone? What the heck? You know what? We have the carry away. We'll, we'll take it. But yes, we have acquired our first shout. Yay! Oh, I think. There might be. No, am I? No, there doesn't seem to be anything back here. Ah, there is. Here it is. Behind the waterfall, there is a treasure chest. Okay? So come over to the waterfall, go behind it, and you can get more stuff. I'm not going to take the petty soul gem or the hide. Not worth it. But yeah, basically these stairs, if you go up these stairs right away, you'll totally miss that little treasure chest. So just to just a heads up for you. And this is your shortcut. This is your shortcut out when you're done. You just go ahead and press the chain. Twist and shout, do a dance. Secret tunnel, secret tunnel. Secret, secret tunnel! And then you just drop on down. There's another treasure chest here. Go ahead and look at that. And then go over here. Do not take the skull, just take the flowers, okay? Don't take the skull. I've accidentally taken the skull more than once. Just take the flowers and then go out to Skyrim. And that is basically the beginner dungeon dungeon, your first official dungeon to show that you can, you know, Play this game without, you know, without too much trouble. Now, as you go through the game, dungeons will steadily increase in power, and there will be dungeons on the map that you can go into 
that you're not supposed to go into at certain levels. Like there's a very famously known dungeon near Riften that the minimum level for that dungeon is level 15. Minimum. You can go through it at level 15, but you should not go through it at that level. Because if you go the hard way, there's a whole bunch of traps and like drug or death lords and you will you will die a lot. I've never gone the hard way. I've always taken the easy way where you pick the master lock and just go the go left rather than right. But if you go right, it it is not fun. I have I have heard things about taking that path and I'm like, nope, I will pick the lock and go left. Now look at all the stuff. to go back over. Go down here. Let's go around. Now I would recommend fast traveling. If you go to the map, you can fast travel back to Riverwood. Well, that's Helgen. Riverwood is right here. Just, just fast travel. Sometimes it's fun to walk, but if you're really not sure which way to go, just fast travel. Show those th the sooner you f I have you the golden it. claw. <laughs> there it is. Strange. It, it seems smaller than I remember. <laughs> Funny thing, huh? I'm going to put this back where it belongs. I'll, I'll never forget this. You've done a great thing for me and my sister. Snarf! Snarf! What did you think of your snarf, love? Thank you so much. Trinkets, odds and ends, that sort of thing. Right, let's go down to apparel. Oh no, I don't want to get rid of that. Wait, did I have... Oh yeah, I have two sets of iron armor, so I can get rid of one. Get rid of the scroll. Though we could probably sell those to the wizard for a little bit more. Do we have... Oh yeah, we don't want to get rid of the books. Let's sell the, the gems. I'm not sure about this gem, though. I'm going to keep that just in case it's important. Alright then. It means so much to us. It's a fine day with you around. Wait, did I already do this? Do oh yeah. About? What's in the letter? Oh my. He he wanted me to think Fandal wrote this? Thank you for telling me the truth. Could you talk to Fandal as well? I'm sure he'll want to thank you for standing up for him. Until next time. All right, and that's pretty much your first Official quest in Skyrim. 
That's the first thing that you do. Is he going to his forge? I have stuff to give him. Within reason, of course. Now, I said I had a level up available, so let's go ahead and do that. This time we'll go ahead and give health. And we'll go one into heavy armor. Because we're going to want to lean into that. There's beauty here. Un I appreciate your help. Please, take this. Some gold I've saved up from working at the mill. And see, you can tell him, follow me, I need your help. And now you have your first follower. Now, if you if you had listened to Spen, Spen would be your first follower. But if you are going the route of the archer, Fendal will teach you how to be a better archer. I'm right behind you. Like, see, can you train me to be better at archery? What I know. And see, of course, you gotta have money for it, but. Whatever you need. What have you got for sale? Now. We should go get that disenchanted. This is the hunting bow I've been using, right? Yeah. We'll get rid of the warhammer. Get rid of that warhammer. Keeping the steel battle axe. Keeping that. Definitely keeping the lock picks. What have you got for sale? We have 1,458. So, what I'm gonna do now is, I think. Oh, yeah. I can get all of his stuff. Get some leather. Maybe some ore. I don't think I can get all of that. Oh, I can. Okay, let's go see what we can make. Let's see, how much does this give us? Not bad. I know you can't cheat it with a iron daggers anymore. Yeah, we must be overweight. It's fine. What you need, my I could forge you a war hat. Take a look. Alright, then I'm gonna go down here. Mm. Yeah, we'll, we'll find another sword. If you need somewhere to sleep, if you want to sleep, because you can't sleep in this game, this is the inn. The Sleeping Giant Inn. Now, if you say, heard any rumors lately, they'll tell you about, like, side quests that are not related to the main story of the game. Like, for example, the war, the whole war, joining the Stormcloaks with the Imperials, you don't have to do that to complete the main quest of the game. The main quest of the game is to defeat Ottoine 
the dragon that saved you at the beginning of the game. He saved you because he wants to fight you. Here, take a look at this. Some of the Jarl's men came by and left this bounty letter. Okay. Word is, Ulfric's Stormcloak escaped from the Imperials. War's only gonna get worse now. Looking to blow yourself up? I hear that's what magic does to you. There's a college in Winterhold that teaches magic. Unless that blew up too. Be a lot safer just to have the Jarl's wizard teach you a thing or two. Sounds like hogwash to me. Okay. Mm-hmm. Did you hear me? Yep. Ale's going bad. I guess you're that busy. I'd like to rent out of the room. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. And then you can go over here. I think it's this one. And you can sleep in the bed. We're just gonna rest for an hour just to show you how it works. And then you get up feel, feeling fully, fully rested. It, it, it'll auto-save your game whenever you do that. And then you can come over here and talk to Spen. You look like a traveler. Can I make a request? What can I do for you? You can make him sing. Can you sing Ragnar the Red? A fine, but bloody tale. I can do that one. And he'll sing. I've been trained. This is a local favorite and one of the first songs I ever learned. Ragnar Sit in the, the chair. Red. Oh, there once was a hero named Ragnar the Red who came riding to Whiterun from... And listen to him sing. Hello, Simutation Fluffy, how are you? How's it going? Hi! But then he went quiet, did Ragnar the Red, when he met the shield maiden Matilda. It's kind of funny having Fendal here listening to Spen, considering they're fighting over the same girl. And here's the funny part, okay? At some point, you have the option for marriage. You can marry her. She's a marryable character. So you can take the girl that they both want, that they're both fighting over, as your wife. It's it's hilarious. Okay, we're gonna get up. My time at the bar. Gonna go out of here. Hey, great! Just doing a little late night grind. Oh, Animal Crossing. Yeah, I need to check my game. All right, so now we're gonna be heading to White Run next. But we're not going to do that right now. Right now I'm going to save the game. I'm going to go ahead and save the game. Homewrecker. I usually don't marry her. I'm just saying that you can. That you can marry her. And be a total jerk. But anyways, I'm going to end the stream here. Um... I'll be streaming Animal Crossing tomorrow, so if you're, you know, if you're interested in watching me play Animal Crossing, I'll be playing that tomorrow morning from 9 a.m. till noon, 9 a.m. till noon, and then I will see some of you Sunday night for perhaps more Morio RPG, maybe, maybe some Final Fantasy, maybe some Witcher 3, who knows, but Sunday will be at night, at night. And then Tuesday, Tuesday we'll be back with more Animal Crossing. And then Thursday we'll be back with either A, more Perler Bead Crafting. I, s I still owe Chrissy Pascal, so I'm going to attempt Pascal again. And I also want to put together my Julian's birthday kit. So I will potentially be putting together some Legos. And I also have some Diamond Art kits that I want to work on. So that'll be on Thursday. Thursdays will now be dedicated to crafting from here on out until I until I get tired of it. So thank you. Thank you everyone for listening to me ramble. Thank you so much for being here. Remember, 
stay safe, stay awesome, and always know. Always know you're sweet as a pineapple. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for being here. Remember, tomorrow, Animal Crossing. Sunday, a game. We'll be playing a game. Tuesday, Animal Crossing. Thursday, crafting. Friday is usually Nino Kuni or Skyrim. So I will see you then. Bye, everyone. Stay safe. Stay awesome. And always know, you're sweet as a pineapple.